वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश हंड्रेड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन ऑफ बीम फॉर बेंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय बेयर एंड जॉनसन सिक्स एडिशन द टॉपिक इज सिंगुलरिटी फंक्शन और मेकॉलेज मेथड सो स्टेटमेंट इज यूजिंग सिंगुलरिटी फंक्शन राइट द इक्वेशन डिफाइनिंग द शेयर एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन एंड इन पार्ट बी यूज द इक्वेशन ऑप्टेन फॉर एम टू री डिटरमाइन द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट पॉइंट सी and check your answer by drawing the free body diagram of entire beam so you can see this is a cantilever beam having fixed support at point c and there is a distributed load which is triangular load from a to b having magnitude w not clear so we have to determine the shear force equation and bending moment equation by using singularity function so let's start with the solution as we can see that we have this table basic load and corresponding shear and bending moment expressed in term of singularity function so from here you can see this figure having a distributed or linear load clear and this is starting from a so its distributed load wx will be equal to k into x minus a power 1 where k is the slope of this graph so this is starting from this point and ending at this point but here you can see it is starting from point a and end at point b so what we will do is that we will project it till point c in order to add till point c so this is what we have we what we are going to do we are going to add this with this clear okay now here you can see this load is seem to be distributed load w not so what we are going to do is that we will add this distributed load like this in upward direction clear as well as there is a triangular load so here it is w not so here it will be 2 w not so we will also add it in downward direction and it's it will be upward so what we did is that we added this portion over here in downward direction and then we added this portion in upward direction so that it cancel each other here it is w not because we have added here w not it two this is w not here it is 2 w not so here it is w not so what we are going to do is that we will apply the this singularity function for this graph for this one you can see we will find k and k this will be equal to k1 and k1 will be a slope slope is perpendicular or hypotenuse uh, base so perpendicular is 2 w not and base is two times of a so k1 will be equal to w not by a similarly for this we have k2 and k2 will be also equal to perpendicular is this one or triangular load and base is a now we can apply this equation w of x is equal to first for this one for this case here a is equal to 0 because it is starting from point a clear so we will use this equation so w will be equal to k1 into x minus 0 power 1 okay this was the first one triangular load now here you can see we have a distributed load in upward direction clear so for distributed load we have this shape. this is the equation so w is downward so this is positive so here i will write negative because here the load w not is upward so minus w not into x minus a power 0 because a is this one and the last thing is this triangular load again since this is upward so i will write minus k into x minus a power 1 so i will write minus k2 into x minus a power 1 now you can put the value of k1 so k1 is w not divided by a x minus w not into x minus a power 0 and k2 is also minus w not over a into x minus a power 1 as we know that dv 
over dx is equal to minus w. So from here we will get w is equal to minus dv over dx. So dv will be equal to minus w times dx. So wx is this one. So dv will be equal to minus w naught by a into x minus w naught into x minus a power 0 minus w naught over a into x minus a power 1 into dx. So if we integrate it on both sides, we will get the shear force that will be equal to minus w naught x square over 2 a plus w naught into x minus a power 1 plus w naught over a into x minus a power 2 divided by 2. So this is the shear force equation. Now we know that dm over dx is equal to v. So dm will be equal to v into dx. So I will write it dm is equal to v is minus w naught x square over 2a plus w naught into x minus a power 1 plus w naught over 2a into x minus a power 2 into dx. So if you integrate it, you will get the moment and moment will be minus w naught x cube over 6a plus w naught into x minus a power 2 divided by 2 plus w naught into x minus a power 3 divided by 6a. So this is the shear force equation and this is the bending moment equation. You can also find it by using this table clear. So let's try it. So V is equal to for this triangular load, this one, this whole one. So you can see we can write K, K is equal to W naught by A into X minus A power one. So A, here A is equal to zero. So I will write X power one. Now for this distributed load that is upward, so distributed load, the shear, uh, sorry, V equation is this one, not this. This is the uh, W1. So let me correct it. K over 2. K is W naught over A and that is 2. That is minus there and X minus A. So X A is equal to 0. So X square. For distributed load, the, this is the equation, so minus, so since our load is upward, here you can see, so I will write plus W into X minus A power 1. And then there is a triangular load of this that is upward, so again we will use this equation, so minus K into X, sorry, not this equation, this is the equation minus k is for so for upward it is k by 2 so we know that k is again w naught over a k2 is w naught over a so w naught over 2a into x minus a power 2 so you can compare these two equation you can see that both equations are same similarly you can find the moment equation here so for distributed load of this one, this is the first one, the moment equation is this one. Minus K, K is W naught over A multiplied by 6 because this is 6 into X minus A. A is equal to 0, so I will write X cube. The second one is for distributed load. So for distributed load, it will be plus because here the distributed load is downwards and here it is upward so i will write plus 1 over 2 w naught into x minus a power 2 and then there is a triangular load upward so we will use this minus k which is w naught over a times 6 into x minus a power 3 you now you can compare these two equations both are 
same so whatever method you use you will get the same shear force and bending moment equation now in second part it is given that to find the moment at point c so at c x is equal to 2 a so what we will do is that put x is equal to 2 a in equation of moment so i will put it moment will be equal to minus w naught x is replaced with 2 a 2 a whole cube divided by 6 a plus w naught over 2 into 2 a minus a power square plus w naught into 2 a minus a this is a power 3 divided by 6 a okay so if you simplify it moment will be equal to minus w naught multiply by 8 a cube over 6 a plus w naught over 2 into a square plus w naught into a cube divided by 6 a so this will be minus a w naught a square over 6 plus w naught a square over 2 plus w naught a square over 6 now you have to take the lcm so 6 it will be minus a w naught a square plus 3 w naught a square plus w naught a square so this moment will be equal to minus 4 w naught a square over 6 r that is equal to minus 2 w naught a square 3 and you can also write it 2 or 3 w naught a square and the moment is clockwise there now in last portion check your answer by drawing the free body diagram of entire beam so for that i will copy it and we will move toward next page let me paste it over here so you can see when you remove this support at point c so you will be having a reaction force which is r c y you will be having a horizontal reaction force r c x and you will be having a moment m c now this is a triangular load so when converted it to into a point load it will be equal to 1 over 2 w naught and the length is a and that will act at a distance of a by 3 from this side clear so now apply the equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about point c is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point c one moment is minus m c which is the reaction moment and the second moment about point c is this load into perpendicular distance is this one and this is producing counterclockwise moment so a by 3 plus a will give you 4 a by 3 we will write plus plus 1 over 2 w naught into a into 4 a by 3 is equal to 0 so moment about point c will be equal to 4 w naught a square over 6 a or that is equal to 2 w naught a square over 3 this is not 6 a this is only 6 so what we obtain from this is mc is equal to 2 w naught a square over 3 which you can see is positive value it means that your resume direction clockwise is correct now you can compare this with this value both are same so it means that we have found the correct equation of shear force and bending moment equation and this was all about problem 5-100 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are liking and learning it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching